Now with a brother and sister whose happy summers growing up on the beaches of Fire Island, New York, helped spark a successful business, a business that tackles plastic pollution in the ocean. Check them out. We're at Brookfield Place, and we're here all day until 4 p.m. There's a saying that being an entrepreneur is like jumping off a cliff and building the plane on the way down. But it's ultimately who we're building this with that matters the most, and that, you know, that makes the, the ride down a little less scary sometimes. Carol and I were siblings, and we grew up um, going to this place called Bear Harbor in Fire Island. And um, Fire Island is a super special place. The island's about 27 miles long, but only about 100 yards wide. It just made us appreciate the environment in the ocean just really early on as little kids. As we got older, um, we started to notice more and more plastic waste washing up on the shore. Ended up going to Colgate University and uh, majoring in geography. And so it was learning about the negative effects of plastic waste on our ocean, our ecosystem, and our overall health. And in doing so, I actually found a mill that was converting plastic balls into yarn. And so that's when the idea of Fair Harbor was born. We create products for people to enjoy the place that they love while protecting them as well. And so all of our products are made directly from recycled plastic bottles. When Jake initially came to me with the idea, I didn't have any hesitation. We have such a passion for the environment and a shared frustration for the issue. And it has fueled us in, in, in a way that's truly indescribable. We were part of a program called Thought into Action, which connected alumni entrepreneurs with student entrepreneurs who want to start businesses. And then in addition, um, every year they had a short tank competition. We have a global supply chain, high quality designs, and market ready products. So back in 2015, we ended up winning $20,000 in grant money to start the company. Every summer, Jake and I would pack up our car and travel up and down the East Coast with a bunch of board charts in the back trunk, just talking to everyone and anyone. Since the crux of the pandemic, we use a lot of those learnings to build our business to be able to scale efficiently and effectively. At the end of 2020, we were six people, and now we are a 25-person team. Starting a business with a sibling, I think it's that that creates a level of trust and respect with one another. You're never too young to start something. If you have an idea and a passion and a frustration, to just start somewhere and go for it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.